Hi and welcome to Universal Health and Rehabilitation. My name is Dr. Jason Mazzarella and we're located in Toronto, Ontario. Our hope is that by the end of the presentation, we can change your perspective on motor vehicle accidents and show you that an understanding of crash forensics allows for an injury occupant to recover and return to their normal lives faster. Our unique crash forensic service combines physics and accident reconstruction to determine injury potential and then combines an injury specific physical examination in order to determine what if any injuries occurred due to the motor vehicle accident. This is the only assessment and examination service available today that uses occupant kinematic analysis, injury biomechanics analysis, evaluation of the vehicle based on National Highway Traffic Safety Administration crash testing, consideration of over 40 unique risk factors, and all followed by an injury-specific physical examination in order to make an injury determination. This is the smart choice, the cost-effective choice, and the right choice for all motor vehicle accident occupants. The crash analysis determines how the occupant reacts in the car. The injury biomechanics analysis determines what soft tissue structures are most likely injured and the physical examination evaluates these tissues to determine if the collision resulted in injuries, if any, and if injuries occurred to what structures and to what extent. Like any specialized area of medicine, qualifications matter. No two motor vehicle collisions are the same. No two occupants are the same. Every collision has unique vehicle variables, road variables, risk factors, that are either present or absent and different type of occupants related to the physical stature. There are differences in height, weight, body type, and musculature, all of which play into determining an injury potential. We can't assume that every person responds the same in an accident as every person in an accident is different. When we do, occupants get misdiagnosed, pain persists longer than it should, and claims stay open longer. Like any specialty, training, education, and experience matters. As an accident reconstructionist with training from Northwestern University, Michigan State University, and the Toronto Police College, as well as being one of only 188 doctors in the world certified in motor vehicle crash forensics risk analysis, I can make a certified opinion on injury potential through a kinematic analysis, dynamic, dynamic analysis, crash forensics risk factor analysis, injury biomechanical analysis, and human movement analysis. As a chiropractor with specific postgraduate training in whiplash traumatology, brain injury, traumatic stress, neurology, orthopedics, biomedical sciences, kinesiology, and pain management, I can perform a complete physical examination, including physical examination, history, musculoskeletal examination, neurological examination, orthopedic examination, postural analysis, digital vestibular analysis and exam, concussion testing, traumatic stress testing, pain and chronic pain analysis, and functional testing. This is truly an all-in-one service. How does this crash forensics medical assessment and examination work? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. So is a video worth 2,000 words? Hopefully after viewing a full scale human volunteer crash test, your perspective on motor vehicle accident collisions will be changed. Now we will show you this live full scale human volunteer crash test and how known forensics can determine injury potential. In every collision, we consider over 40 risk factors. This allows for a completely unbiased injury analysis and determination which can help the occupant, if injured, recover in a more timely manner. This is how just one risk factor can help determine injury potential. We will now consider awareness. Research has shown that awareness is the primary factor in determining the likelihood of injury. In the collision we're about to show, the occupant is unaware of the impending collision. This crash test was produced by the Spine Research Institute of San Diego. This is part of a live full-scale human volunteer crash test 
that I participated in in order to obtain my certification in motor vehicle crash forensics risk analysis. In this collision, the occupant is unaware of the pending crash. This is a relatively slow collision with a delta V of approximately 5.3 miles per hour. As you can see, the occupant is unaware of the impending crash. He's wearing blacked out sunglasses. His neck and arm muscles are relaxed and not flexed. When the collision occurs, he is unable to brace as the primary injury mechanism happens in about 80 milliseconds. And it takes us about three to 400 milliseconds to make a forceful muscle contraction. Due to the occupant not being aware and due to the fact that he is wearing a seatbelt with his shoulder harness, his body is pushed forward as per Newton's laws until the seatbelt restrains his forward movement. This results in a significant forward head translation and neck flexion. You can see the cervical spine lordosis flattens and the paraspinal musculature contracts in response to the cervical traction. This allows for potentially significant ligament and tendon injury in the cervical spine. We can also see that the cervical flexion exceeds 90 degrees, which is the normal physiological range of motion, allowing for a tearing of the interspinous ligaments and facet capsules and compression of the anterior vertebral bodies. This is only a 5.3 mile an hour delta V collision. The injury potential is increased greatly based on the known risk factors and occupant kinematics of the collision. By combining crash forensics, as we have just shown, we can make an injury determination based on science, physics, and medicine. We have shown you only one of over 40 risk factors we consider in every collision in order to determine the most precise injury potential for our occupants. By understanding the tissues involved in the collision and comparing this with pain patterns and functional loss, a specific injury analysis can be made which can improve patient outcome. In the previous crash test, imagine if the occupant reported headaches. What would your course of action be? Would you order x-rays, CTs, MRIs, or video fluoroscopy studies? maybe refer to a chiropractor or neurologist for a specific exam? By understanding the crash forensics of the collision, we would know that the cervical spine would undergo a significant distraction force due to the fulcrum produced by the seatbelt. In understanding this kinematic reaction, one of the first muscles we should evaluate is the splenius cervicis that has a myotogenous referral pattern into the head behind the eye. This is how we combine physics, crash forensics, and medicine. Once this crash forensics analysis and examination has completed, a full physical examination is preferred. What we do differently is that we first evaluate the areas of chief complaint of the occupant. We then evaluate the areas of injury potential determined through crash forensics. Unlike many other providers, we don't chase the pain. We chase the cause of the pain. Imagine how an occupant's recovery would proceed if a doctor only chased the pain. What if a person was having a heart attack and felt pain into their left arm? If a doctor chased the person's pain and only evaluated the arm and not the heart, the patient would be in a lot of trouble. This is the same with car accidents. When an occupant is evaluated only by where they point, this increases the chance of treatment duration, claim duration, and costs, while ultimately prohibiting full and functional recovery and allowing the occupant to return to their normal life in a timely and reasonable manner. We strive to do better, and we believe crash forensics assessments and examinations is the way to do better. This crash forensics medical assessment and exam examination is the only service needed to make a determination of injury and benefit need for motor vehicle accident occupants. Physical examinations are only accurate if the area of injury is based on the occupant kinematic reaction and known risk factors. Simply, injuries can turn chronic very quickly if not evaluated in a timely and accurate manner. Special tests provide little benefit in motor vehicle accidents as many tests are not sensitive enough to show injuries. Even MRIs have been shown to portray structural abnormalities up to 50% of the time when these abnormalities are actually normal variants. 
not causing pain or functional loss. IMEs also have limited value as many reports only provide profession-specific responses, not considering the whole person and or all of the potential injuries. And in most cases, in my experience at least, in reviewing over thousands of IMEs, the doctors generally chase the pain, which we have shown is of limited value in motor vehicle collisions. This is truly an all-in-one examination, the only assessment that is needed for determining injury and benefit need after a motor vehicle accident. This assessment encompasses a crash forensics analysis that includes over 40 individual risk factors considered in each report, an injury potential based on principal direction of force, crash vector, and vehicle crash testing research, a National Highway Traffic Safety Administration vehicle review, and an optional CDR or event data recorder analysis. If this weren't enough, it also includes a complete and full physical examination, including musculoskeletal exam, orthopedic exam, neurological exam, digital vestibular testing, concussion exam and analysis, pain exam and analysis, functional exam and analysis, and a traumatic stress analysis based on reports of sense stimulation at the time of the accident. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. As you can see, this is truly the examination of the future for personal injury. Examinations are conducted on a first-come, first-served basis for anyone involved in a motor vehicle accident. All medical files and documents must be sent on CD or via electronic transfer if requested by a law, for, law firm or insurer. For all patients requesting this service, please bring CDs of any special images, x-rays, CTs, MRIs, fMRIs, PET scans, or video fluoroscopy studies that you have taken. Please bring the actual images on CD and not just the reports. For additional information, please call our office or email directly at drmazzarella at gmail.com. Thank you in advance. We look forward to answering all of your motor vehicle accident injury needs and helping all those injured return to a normal, healthy, and happy life as soon as possible. Thank you.